days a week, and wow. uh, I'm on the ketogenic diet. I'm following your advice. I'm uh, in spirulina and kelp. But here's here's a question. I, well, I'll be 60 next year. Okay. Uh, I was, uh, when I was 17 and 18, I weighed 165. I'm down to 227. I, I guess my quick question is, what is what should I weigh? And once I start doing this, it's really not up to you. It's what the body says it's going to be when you when you get rid of the fat and you start living healthy. So. What should a guy weigh at six one? Uh, nearly there's, there's no way to know that. There's no way to know because it has to do with bone structure. It has to do with with uh, how much muscle you're carrying, how much fat you're carrying. There's a whole bunch of factors that that take place. I wouldn't worry about the unless for just for you want to look good. That's different, and uh, then you got to get yourself in the gym and start doing some weights and, and toning up. But just from a health perspective, it's not so much the weight, the number, as it is the body fat number one and uh, uh, metabolic issues, biochemistry issues more than just weight issues. So I wouldn't necessarily be paying attention to the number as much as, as, much as I would be paying attention to things like blood pressure and, and uh, you know, sleep issues and skin issues and, and perhaps uh, uh, blood sugar kinds of things, uh, maybe a, a visceral body fat, body fat around the middle of your body, stomach body fat, that kind of thing. I wouldn't go by this, just the straight number unless, unless it's like ridiculously high. That's different. But if you're just, you know, nor, around, what do you say, you're 6'1", 200? 220? Is that what you said? Uh, uh, 612227. Uh, uh, I haven't seen that in 35 years. That's, that's I, great. I, I wouldn't worry about it too much. much. You're, you're, you're not too bad. You're not too bad. Do you have body, like stomach fat, belly fat? Well, I still, you know, I, I still look in the mirror and I still got fat uh, okay. around the, the middle. So I'm not there yet. But I guess at 165 when I was 17, you know, that may have been healthy then. But what about stretch, stretch skin? Because my wife's got it from having children. And of course, I have some of it just. Hanging around. Now, I've, I've listened to all your, and I, I know topical stuff, but will, will the stretch skin ever go back to worse? No, stretch, stretch marks and that kind of thing, no. The trick to, doing, to dealing with stretch marks is to, handle them bef- is to handle them before they happen. That means if you're pregnant, to use things like retinoic acid or vitamin C on the area that's being stretched, or if you're losing a lot of weight, uh, using retinoic acid and vitamin C. Those are the two main topical approaches to stretching skin. Stretching skin is a defect in the connective tissue, uh, and once it's once it's stretched out like that, it's not going away. You know, sometimes women, after they have a baby, will have some significant stretching, and that just doesn't go away. There's no way to make it go away, except for surgery sometimes, but then you'll end up with a scar. So, unfortunately, there's no real medical or nutritional treatment for dealing with uh, skin once it's stretched. However, before it stretches, that's really where you want to approach it. Uh, you want to prevent it, and that means topical vitamin A, which in, in the retinoic acid form is the best, and then topical vitamin C in its fatty form is the best. And I'll be coming out with a, well, uh, if you're interested in fatty vitamin C, you should give me, uh, you should send an email at Ben at KSCO.com, KSCO.com, and I'll uh, send you a link to some fatty vitamin C. And then internally, using cartilage containing products and foods, things like the glucogel caps and, and also bone soup, uh, that can help. And then more protein can also help. And one of the very underrated uh, nutritional supplements for dealing with all cartilage and connective tissue issues like stretch marks, but also like wrinkles and arthritis which are similar, is to use vitamin C. Vitamin C is the rate-limiting step for collagen and connective tissue and cartilage production. Without vitamin C, and if, even if you're deficient in vitamin C, it's going to be difficult, if not impossible, depending on how deficient you are, to make an, uh, cartilage and collagen and to prevent stretch marks from happening. And sometimes because vitamin C is just so common and, and it seems like it's just like kind of a routine nutrient, we don't think about its importance, but it is very, very important internally and topically. Uh, I hope that helps, Steve. And then well, six... It does, but even if you were to go have surgery, who would you go see and what type of surgery would it be for stretch? Plastic you know, surgeon. A plastic surgeon is who you'd go, is who you'd go to. And it's, it's a significant surgery. They've got to cut and they've got to remove stuff. And it just doesn't seem like it's worth it. Unless it's really, really problematic and unattractive and you're psychologically debilitated from it, it doesn't seem like it's worth it to me. Of course, I don't have the problem, so I can't speak that way. But uh, if you do want to have surgery, Surgery, you'd have to go to a plastic surgeon to have it done. Thank you so much, Brother Ben. Thank you so much for the kind words. Appreciate it, Ken. Uh, Ken in Idaho. Let's move on to uh, Bill in Texas. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's up, buddy? Thanks. I was wondering what you'd suggest about uh, ringworm. Ringworm is a fungal infection, and even though it shows up on top of the skin, it's really not a skin problem, although it's cosmetically a skin problem, but from a causal level, it's more like an immune system problem. We live in a jungle, folks, bacteria and, and fungus. 
uh, are all over the place. They're in our skin. They're in our environment. They're in our hair. They're in our eyelashes. They're all over our body. They're all over in our body. They're in our body as well as on top of our body. Usually, there's, these things are regulated. Bacteria regulate the fungus, and fungus regulate the bacteria. They kind of balance each other out. Good bacteria regulate the bad bacteria. Everything's kind of in a balance. However, when our immune system is suppressed or when we have some kind of imbalance in gut bacteria, we'll end up with various fungal and bacterial infections. So the way you want to deal with ringworm, first of all, you can take care of it topically with things like prescription drugs, Nizoral or uh, uh, antifungal topical medications, my, uh, ni- uh, Nystatin, that kind of thing can help. Uh, but internally, you want to focus on a suppressed immune system, and you also want to focus on building your immune system. Uh, probably the most important, in my opinion, uh, immune system nutritional supplement is going to be probiotics or good bacteria. And if you have a digestive problem or you're eating the wrong kinds of food, that's going to suppress good bacteria. So get yourself on the Biolumin Nightly Essence. Make sure you're eating lots of fermented food, sauerkraut, miso, kimchi, uh, kefir. Anything fermented with bacteria is going to be uh, helpful for helping stabilize the immune system, especially when it comes to fungal infections. If you have any digestive problems, those need to be corrected. Staying away from problem foods, that's uh, very important also. And then there's nutrients that you can use to build the immune system. Vitamin C is the prime immune system building vitamin, although vitamin A is also very important. Probably around 5,000 to 10,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day and 20,000 international units of vitamin A a day. Uh, Hang tight, uh, Bill. There's a couple more things I want to tell you when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Many Americans suffer from digestive problems, often totally unaware they're not absorbing essential nutrients from foods and supplements. Dr. Peter Glidden is aware of the importance of healing a damaged digestive system. Now, the product that I'm going to talk about today, Mackey Plus, and it is a combination of a superfruit, the Mackey Berry, and aloe vera juice. Now, aloe vera is a very interesting nutritional supplement to talk about because aloe vera, you know, it's the stuff that you put on your skin if you get a burn. And, man, it really knocks down the pain, the inflammation of the burn and facilitates healing. Well, guess what? It does the same thing internally that it does externally to burns. To soothe and heal your digestive system, order Mackey Plus today by calling 855-347-3696. That's 855-347-3696 or on the web at fireyourmdnow.com. That's FireYourMDNow.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone at 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955- 7866. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels, and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light 
system today, complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231, and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at GoBerkey.com. That's GoBerkey.com today. Yeah? Did you want to see me, sir? Well, I did, but now that I do, I'm not so sure. Sir? Johnson, I got a mission for you that could change your life. Oh, good, sir. It involves traveling halfway around the world without so much as half a clue of where you're going and what you're going to do when you get there. Situation normal, sir? Uh-huh. Well, I'll be leading this mission, Johnson, so I'll be telling you what to do. You, sir? That's right, Johnson, and I say first things first. Oh, good plan, sir. And what I say is first is food. Always remember that, Johnson. Food is a big deal. Sir, my brother-in-law can give us a really good deal on some surplus MREs. Johnson, if you've got half a brain and that empty head of yours, you'll call the free a dry guy like I did. That food is better for you, it rehydrates faster, and it's good, Johnson, and it keeps for up to 30 years. Will we be gone that long, sir? I hope not. Now, get your supplies organized and meet me down at the pier at dawn on Sunday. We sail at sunrise. Yes, sir. This adventure is brought to you by the Freeze Dry Guy. Call 866-404-3663 or visit freezedryguy.com. Free from the shackles of corporate America, we're the place for independent thinkers. G.C. All right, we're back on the bright side. 855-660-4261 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear us talk about or join the Bright Side Ben team, you can call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, or you can head over to brightsideben.com and click on the Join the Team link for a one-time $10 fee. You can start yourself a longevity business, enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business, get your products at the wholesale price, and make a little money, too, and help spread the word about the power of a good nutritional supplement program. Okay, we are talking to Bill in Texas about ringworm. Uh, Bill, before we went to break, we were saying uh, vitamin C, zinc, vitamin A. Those are your most important uh, immune system-building vitamins. And acetylcysteine is very helpful for any kind of immune problems. Using probiotics can be helpful. And then topically, in addition to the prescription remedies like nystatin, uh, which is a common topical prescription antifungal that's used, you can also use coconut oil, which has some antifungal properties, and certainly Lugol solution and uh, colloidal silver. While not directly antifungal, they're antimicrobial, and they'll pretty much kill stuff in a non-toxic fashion. And you may want to consider using topical Lugol solution, that's an iodine solution, or topical colloidal silver, in addition to maybe trying some coconut oil, which contains something called lauric acid. Lauric acid is really interesting stuff. Lauric acid is actually a, used in the skincare industry to create the Detergents, stuff like sodium lauryl sulfate, which many of you have heard of, comes from lauric acid. And lauric acid has been used in something called oil pulling. We haven't talked about oil pulling a lot. That's a, uh, something you, uh, you do to clean your mouth out, to clean your gums out, to kill bacteria in the mouth. And it all exploits lauric acid and coconut oil. You take a teaspoon of coconut oil, swish it around your mouth, and you get that lauric acid benefit to kill bacteria in the mouth. But you can also use it topically as an antimicrobial. So I hope that helps you. Does, uh, any other questions? Does that clear things up for you, Bill? Yeah, that's very helpful. I sure appreciate it. Good deal. Have a beautiful day in Texas. And let's move on to Steve in Pennsylvania. What's up, Steve? Steve, going once. Uh, ben, can you hear me? Yes, uh, sir. Uh, What's going on? Okay. I have a question on the uh, anacetylcysteine. Sure. How d- different is that than, uh, let's say, uh, the amino acid cysteine? It is much different. Uh, the amino acid cysteine, for some reason, is not handled by, it doesn't have the same detoxification properties as the acetylated version does. And you know what? I'm not exactly sure why that is, but it, cysteine isn't going to give you the same kind of uh, benefits as N-acetylcysteine will. Uh, and, I, you know, I don't know exactly why they use N-acetylcysteine, but I know the cysteine does not work the same way. Okay, and a similar, a similar line to three other questions. Sure. The uh, vitamin C, uh, the oil-based vitamin C, wouldn't uh, the uh, arlipoic acid, the, uh, the, the type that's very assimilable with vitamin C, make that vitamin C, uh, any vitamin C uh, work uh, great? Uh, uh, with yeah, it? yeah. Al- lipoic acid does have a synergistic effect with vitamin C. So are you asking me, can you use water-soluble vitamin C to well, get the benefit? 
I, I guess my, my question was on the different types of uh, vitamin Cs of the uh, the the, uh, the food based vitamin Cs, which some of them are like 20 times more assimilable than the ascorbic acid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I, somebody must be going around talking about this because I'm getting a lot of letters about ascorbic acid and food based vitamin C. So let me clear this up a little bit, okay? Uh, first of all, when the cell, it's all about the cell. It doesn't, vitamin C doesn't just matter floating around in the blood. It has to get into a cell where it does the work. 